start recording. There it is. Okay, All I figured right, something out. Go. Watch this. What'd you figure out? You ready? Lay it on. I hit go, and then I immediately switch to uh, to this over here because I was watching some of the other stuff. Yeah, Shazam is a great application for those of you joining us. Through the uh, recorded program, you're not able to read any of the things that I'm talking about because they all have to do it in the chat room, which we love to feature here on the show. But uh, I noticed, watching, yes. first of all, I ought to show you, as always, joined by the inimitable, inimitable, you know, I never used that word before I met you, Mike. Really? The inimitable Captain MG, Mr. Mike Galante. But I noticed watching the recorded programs when we did the great, the awesome Daniel Garcia episode, right. which I'm really bummed that you weren't there for, but it's all right. We'll make up for it. I was it. there in the chat room. You, you were there in the yeah, chat room. Yeah, okay. I was there. I was well, good. There. Well, I noticed that when we uh, when we did the, uh, uh, we did the, the, the thing, uh, watch the recorded program, it's like a full minute of nothing but the BB logo going, and it looks like some kind of weird radio program. So this way, when it starts, at least you'll watch us talking about the previous episode, and if you're re watching it at bbliveshow.com then you can actually look down and see the previous episodes recorded there once again i want to give a very very special thank you to mr travis lopes lopes travis lopes one syllable or two i don't know travis. if we ever figured that out i don't know but i really like i like that that'll be like the secret we'll have to figure that out all right, guys, welcome to the show that's nothing but a toddler banging on a drum. I'm your host, Brian Brushwood, joined by Captain MG. This is a different kind of show. I have absolutely no purpose for doing this show. I have no, I have no guests. So if you turned in for thoughtful chat and interesting guests, we're not going to get those. But I do have a pretty interesting story, and I've got some questions for the people in the chat room. I actually want you guys to call in. By the way, if you want to join the program, as always, you can actually watch the show at bbliveshow.com. You can Skype in with your questions, comments, or shenanigans at uh, BB Live Show. Just go to Skype BB Live Show, and I guess you can Skype or Uvu if you don't uh, if you don't have the Skype. And of course, the only way to know when I'm going to do one of these is to <laughs> is to go to bbliveshow.com. Hold on, there's somebody just begging for a little bit of trouble in the chat room because his daddy touched his penis. Uh, let me get him we out feel bad of for here. Him. That's all right. That's all right. Uh, you know, he's not in there, actually. Did he already get booted? I don't know if he's here. Yeah, Travis. There we go. Travis is on the case. I love it. All right, guys. So uh, here's what's going on. I actually have... Uh, we're, we're going... Tomorrow's a big day. Yeah. Las big, Vegas. Yeah. So uh, you want to tell... America's Playground. You want to tell the nice people what we're doing? From your perspective, because well, I know why I'm doing. Okay. Well, from my perspective, uh, we're going out to Vegas... Uh, gonna see uh, Matt King. Yeah. Do, do you have any Matt idea King. who Matt King is? Uh, I, I've just seen his posters while I've been uh, stumbling around Vegas. You know, what do the, the what do the posters the, look like? Uh, it's, I, I don't know. It's just a big close up to him. I, yeah. I, I have no clue what the show was. I've never been a big show guy in Vegas. Yeah. I've been more about sitting at a blackjack table getting wasted. <laughs> Go um, on. But, uh, I like so, where this is headed. So, so I know we're doing that uh, show in the afternoon, and then we get to go see Penn and Teller uh, in the evening. Not just I'm go see Penn about. and Teller. No, go go hang out, hang out with them backstage and all that good yeah, stuff. Yeah, I don't know if we'll be hanging with Penn, uh, but Teller has said that, they, that they'd make time for us, uh, We or that he would make time for us. You know, they're deep in the middle of, of writing, uh, what is it, Stephen says – Season seven of, 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 as they used to say on Penn Show, they didn't want to swear on the air. Right. So they would call it uh, Penn and Teller's Bulls Hit, which I thought was a Excellent. very clever way to, to say the name of, the, of nice. the show. Nice way to get around FCC regulations and yeah, such. <laughs> Indeed, right? <laughs> and so uh, so we will, he said that normally he would try to make time for a meal or something like that, but it's going to be a little bit hectic instead. But uh, we, we, so so we fly in, right. we swoop in, we're going to check in. Oh, and we're staying. Oh, staying at the beautiful Mandalay Bay. Now, I don't know enough about the different hotels in Vegas, but what I understand is Mandalay Bay is I, a little... Ma Mandalay's on the higher end. It's not, it's not quite the Bellagio, is so, it? No, no, not quite, but uh, but I wouldn't be surprised because in the Bellagio, you know, the, uh, the toilet fixtures in the back... Bathroom are all kind of like brass plated to make really? it look fancy. Do they, do they shoot water up your backside? Because they've got that theme with the O Water Show and the big jets out front. You, you know what? Uh, they might have a separate bathroom for the VIPs that I've never been in. By the but, way, uh, my, could brother be. And I, my brother and I have this vision. Before we die, we want to show up in, and you've seen the show at, at the at the Bellagio, oh, yeah. right? The O the yeah. Water Show where the jets just go, it's ridiculous. 
and I want so bad to just just show up with a backpack and maybe a trench coat over my stuff. And the second that show starts, throw off the the, the trench coat, don one of those uh, Gorton the fisherman hats. You got the Gorton the the, the, sure. the yellow and the, yeah, and the, the big yellow thing. slicker and hats. Then, and then you know yank the cord and and throw in one of those self inflating. Uh, rafts. Pons- rafts, right? Yeah. Hop in with my brother and just haul ass, try to make it into the middle of those jets, and just be like, "Help us! Help <laughs> us!" You, you know, I've yet to have a run in with uh, Vegas Metro Police, but uh, if that if that should happen, and I happen to be there, I think that would be a first for me. Uh, come on, that would be like <laughs> epic forever, would it not? <laughs> Help! <laughs> The best part is the idea is the idea that that like we're the ones in, in trouble. Like you've got to help us. How did this happen? Do you guys have a plan for flares too, so you could like fire off some oh. you know flares? Like oh we're over here. Yeah, I don't know. It's Homeland Security. You know they may chuckle at the at the raft. They're not gonna chuckle with those shooting pyrotechnics into the <laughs> sky unlicensed. But uh, oh, we didn't even talk about what we're gonna be doing over there. We're actually get this somehow. I conned some people into thinking that I'm somebody of importance because I'm actually going to be talking. Let me see if I can actually open their website over here. I thought about it. Here we go. N-A-T. Oops. We'll circle that. N-A-T-P-E dot O-R-G. And it would help if I could spell it. O-R-G. Here we go. For this guy right over. Here we go. There we go. For these guys right here, the National Association of Television Programming Executives. How fancy. Does that sound? That sounds pretty high class. Like way higher class than I deserve to be part of, right? I, I didn't want to say anything, but yeah. <laughs> but but yeah. clearly, yes, that's what you were thinking, <laughs> right? You're, you're way overshooting your headlights over there. <laughs> but but get this, and it gets even better. National Association of Television Pro- Programming Executives. I'm on a panel discussion. Do you know what the title of the panel is? Please tell me. No, do you know? I don't even think you know. No, I don't, no I don't know it offhand. Uh, actually, I don't know either. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Was, All right, well, no, then no, we're no, on the no. same page. I, I remember, uh, I believe it's called, and, and somebody will correct me if this is not it. You can look on the website, but it's actually uh, it's actually the anatomy of a hit web series. They're having me on. And they're having you for that? As the, Exactly, right? That's what I'm thinking. <laughs> and, and I'll tell you this much. They're sure as, not, sure as shit not talking about this show. Not uh, the BB Live Show at bbliveshow.com. Uh, by the way, have we made the front page of Ustream yet? You want to check oh, that? That's, it that's seems like that always there. happens. We're very ambitious right now because uh, normally we're on at 2 in the morning and it's us or, or the nature scenes in Africa. So it's not really hard to make number one of that. But uh, we'll see if we're... We're checking on it. Cat MMG's doing the hard work. Let's see if it happens. Yeah, we're in a tough time slot here. Uh, from the from the forums, from the chat room, Patrick says, I saw it mentioned the, the Guild, but Felicia Day wasn't listed as a panelist. Is Felicia Day the only reason to watch the Guild? Is that what it is? Here, we'll actually, we'll go ahead and bring this on. You know, there's an option to set up the chat room as an overlay, but I don't really like that because it takes up so much, so much... Uh, uh, there we go. Yeah, Anatomy of a Hit Web Series, series Thursday at ten thirty. That's what I'm doing. Okay. Well, now on uh, I'm I love stream. Uh, hang on. It takes. Oh. It takes exactly. Oh, who are we? Okay. Well, we're, we're like third place right now. Yeah, we're third place as uh, we belong. The, the uh, Shiba Inu puppy cam is uh, the featured video that's up there right now. I'm sorry. The what? Um, I Shiba Inu puppy cam. <laughs> it sounds a, a little bit. Pornographic. I gotta. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> well, they must be on break right now because it's just a puppy bed right now. <laughs> well, it's it's a bed. Who's to say it's a puppy bed? There are no puppies that, there, are they? That's true. So no. you're telling me there's a Shiba Inu puppy, puppy doggy cam. style show. There's a Shiba Inu doggy style show, and they're showing a bed right now. They are. No wonder they it are. is number one. There's some toys in the background. I like. <laughs> it's some painful looking toys. All right, this is the big thing I wanted to talk about. And, and it's a question, actually I'll start with this because I was gonna hold this for later, but I'm gonna pull the folks in, in the chat room and actually I'll drag you guys back down. Here's the thing, this is the last round, part of the reason that we threw this together last minute is that, uh, oh you know what, we'll do quad laser there. Nobody can read anything in the quad laser when it's like that, can they? That's a bummer, what if I put this right up here? I could just read everything. You could read everything out loud nonstop <laughs> in like a monotone? Yeah. I like that. Or, Why don't you start well, with if, that? If I knew sign language, I could, you know, be the guy in the corner doing the, sign the language. Little, but the I, little, little chick in the oval. Yeah, I like yeah, that. Right. 
Well, let me ask you guys. Part of the reason that I really enjoy doing this, and the only reason we're doing it tonight is because this is the only night for the next two weeks that we'll be able to do a BB Live show in the studio. And as you know, if you guys haven't seen yet, in fact, actually, let me jump over to this. Turn this off over here. Switch this over to here. It's amazing how jackass this setup is. I kind of wish you guys could actually see behind the scenes. Maybe we'll do that. A whole episode where Ooh, I go behind, behind the, scenes. the scenes. Well, because I got it. The Vid Blaster guy wanted me to show off how we do right, all this. So right. maybe that'll be the next one we do. But uh, but this is the last time in studio that we can actually do this for two weeks. And the question to you guys is, is it cool to just wait two weeks? You know, it's worth it for it to be in studio or... Does it have to be like, I want my MTV, even if it's just, you know, none of the bells and whistles, like just me. <laughs> Which wonderful bells and whistles they are. Wait, 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 hold on. We got <laughs> microphones. Oh, no, absolutely. And, and the quad laser. But, yeah. By the way, this I like this webcam because it looks like the uh, the turrets from uh, from Portal. <laughs> are you there? That's You have no idea what I'm talking about, do you, Mike? I, I'm afraid I don't. It sounds mildly right. evil. That's right. They say my b- tricycle bells and penny whistles. That's what we got. They say studio only. But here's what I'm thinking. We might be able to pull off a hybrid. And I know this is a little bit of crazy talk here. But from the laptop, I've got a webcam built in, right? So that's one. I take one of the portal uh, turrets as another one. So we got the two webcams right. for both of us. Right. We wouldn't have the microphones. We wouldn't have the mixer. But uh, we would be able to take callers, and I could put up Vid Blaster so we could have people call in. By the way, if you'd like to be on the program, don't forget that we're about to take some calls at Skype BB Live Show, or you could call toll free free. I said toll free free because I was already thinking eight six six. Because the extra free is for them. <laughs> That's right. The total free is for F you bitches. <laughs> it's uh, at toll free eight six six four six two four four two four. You know what? Let's start with that first issue, and then we'll get into the real stuff because none of this is the real stuff. This is all preamble. Why don't you guys actually? Uh, Somebody says we should you stream the show. I assume they mean like all the magic shows we go I, to watch. Um, we should actually walk around. Yeah, I guess. Uh, oh, you know, I have this set on Do Not Disturb, so I'm going to change it to online. All right, go ahead and give us a call on Skype or call us toll free 866 462 4424. We have a open line right now. They're saying live we, scam. Yeah, we've got a lot of requests for a live scam. What What does that mean? Like I, like just a broadcast while we uh, are, are, are knocking over a joint or something? I don't know. I don't know what that means. You, <laughs> you could put a tiny camera in your eye and borg it, they say. Which yes. Is, uh, that's not bad. I don't know if uh, nobody's calling in. That's a little bit interesting. Normally you guys are jumping. You know what it is? It's the early hour. It's, yeah. Which is the other thing that I was going to point out is noteworthy of this event is that this is one of the first times where this is the earliest show. This is practically daybreak for us. <laughs> Yeah, this is ridiculous. I'm just saying it's all. Okay, D-Man. Ah, oh, there we go. We got Derek's going to give us... He's either going to give us a call or Skype in. We'll see. Oh, there we go. Let's bring him on. Hey, what's going on? This is Brian. You're on the air. Hey, Brian. What's up? It's Murphy 1D. Hey, Murphy. I'm going to see you out in South Carolina, am I not? Yes, you are, sir. Uh, so tell me, uh, how long a drive is it for you to make it out to the show at University of South Carolina? Actually, it's only about an hour of a drive. How long was the other one that, that you made it? About an hour and a half. Okay, well, that's not bad. That's not bad. So uh, so what's your vote? Uh, half-ass it off the laptop or keep it in the studio? Keep it pristine and for real? Well, I, I definitely want to say that in the studio is best, but I really think you got an opportunity now to do some live streaming with some of your fans. Uh, what do you mean, like uh, like physically there in studio with like while we're on the road? Right, so if I came to South Carolina at USC... Oh, I Do see what this is. Uh, I see. That's well played, sir. <laughs> well, uh, I, <laughs> I don't even know what I, to say. I, I, I like of, Murphy's angle. Kind of, I, I like what he's doing here. I'm kind of getting embarrassed. I'm just like, all right, how do I do this? <laughs> Because he already told you he's driving an hour and a half to come <laughs> yeah, see. Uh, yeah. What you need to do is, is feature a fan who loves you so much. Yeah, maybe, just maybe like the best. someone with an Irish name. I don't know. I don't know who. Maybe somebody who's been, you know, in the forums from the very yeah. beginning. All yeah. Right. Yeah. Hi, laddie. All right. <laughs> well, by the way, uh, there is a lot of votes for half-assing, and I tell you, I kind of want to plan on doing half-ass because, and I tell you what, maybe here's what we'll do: is we'll do some live stuff, but we won't record it. Hold on, we got somebody calling in right now. 
uh, or actually they're not calling in, they're just friending us right now. But what if we did some live stuff, but we didn't record it? Because I think somebody asks in the in the chat room, isn't this the half-assed version? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's just like this, but with no special effects or mixes of any kind. <laughs> Son of a bitch. All right. This is not half-assed. So, this is just <laughs> entirely ass. Well, yeah, and you know what? Somebody is saying uh, Somebody is saying half-assed isn't a good way to put it. What we could call it, what, uh, BB Light? You know what I'll do is I'll register BB Light Show. BB Light's of, not bad. Instead of BB Light Show. Somewhere between E and Pi. Yeah. Oh, you know what? I don't have that graphic around. Sorry, I, I should have that all queued up. All right. Well, take care, Mr. Murphy and uh, 1D. I will see you soon. And I just accidentally hung up on him when I meant to say goodbye, so now he's gone. <clears throat> but here's what I was going to say is I suspect we may be a little bit intoxicado, maybe 1 o'clock in the morning after coming back from the tables Could at happen. Uh, the Vegas. Could happen. Yeah. <laughs> You're like, that's not entirely that's, impossible. Yeah, I've, I've heard of crazier things happen. All right. Well, oh, BB Raw. That's a great name. Whoa. Whoever you streamer 89629 is, I like that. We'll call it the Raw Feed. Okay, D-Man's calling in. D-Man all the way from, uh, I was going to say I-Town, but Iowa's not really a town. It's 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 a place. How's it go? Wait, are you, are you shitting me? What is, yeah. what? All right, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Before he starts talking, let me fix this so America can see what kind of, what kind of, I don't want to say rip-off shenanigans, but... I mean, <clears throat> what is that right there? Wow. Can, can you turn up? Can you turn up your? Oh wait, you know what? Let me turn up. Uh, I'm gonna make you small, uh, and to turn this up. All right, talk some more there, Derek. There we go. No, nope, turn it up. I need more. Oh wait, no, I can turn this up. Now go. Speak. Checking the mic. Hey, there we go. There he is. And now we can turn on the quad laser, which technically it's not even a quad laser anymore when you got. When you got two copies of yourself, is this, is this so we get your good side and the rest of you? This is just playing with Cam Twist. Yeah. Is this a, right. this a, this is a, uh, what, a, uh, so you went out and bought another webcam? A, I've got a, it's just my, uh, my, my video camera sitting over here. Okay. Oh, yeah, my, that's legit. And then my webcam on my laptop, so. Okay. Yeah, that's legit. Well, that's, that's actually what we're getting ready to do. This is, okay, yeah, you know what? This is good. So this is what you're seeing right now with the quad laser. This is BB Standard live show. And something like this would be like BB. Good God, what are you doing? It's a sandstorm. Derek. Whoa. De Derek, that sounds terrible. What is going on? I don't know. Mess with your mic. What is happening? Up here? Up <laughs> yeah, mic. there we go. Much better. Much better. There we go. Okay. There we uh, go. All right, so talk to me, man. What's a uh, uh, hey? You know I'm going to be in Iowa a couple times coming up in February, yeah, right? I'm I'm working on some stuff. I may even actually have a studio you could use for this. Oh, hell yeah! You know what? Looks if if, at a, if BB a co-working space in Des Moines. Uh, what's that? It's at a co-working space in Des Moines. Uh, I don't even know a co-working space space. A, yeah, it's just a place where people. Yeah, it's just like an art place. Oh, I got you. I got you. Oh, okay. Okay. I also went and saw a musical this weekend. I'm, I'm called sorry? Spring Awakening. And I was just wondering, did you happen to have a, a relationship with Angus Young at any point? Oh, my God. <laughs> you know, I'm not going to say whether or not I was involved <laughs> in something like that. But, uh, you know, I cannot attest to my mother's indiscretions. I don't know. <laughs> That's interesting. Because it looks like you and ACDC had a baby. Okay, you know what? This is a very good segue right here to the real point. None of this was what I really wanted to talk about. What I really wanted to talk about, and this is good because we also get to make use of the quad laser. And if you don't mind, actually, uh, Derek, I'm going to put you up. Oh, sorry, let me click this out. Hold on. First, we'll throw that on so everyone can wait patiently while I fix this. Uh, but are you are you good to stick around here for a little bit, Derek? Yeah, I'm cool. Okay, hold on. Let me change this over here to you, and then I'm gonna right click and I'm gonna change source three over to. Since you have two pictures of yourself, I'm gonna cover one of your pictures with <laughs> freaking. Uh, there we go. With uh, with the <laughs> the trial the vid blaster trial. There we go. I think that's perfect right there. <laughs> Does that look good to you? <laughs> Now you got to use your wizardry to uh, to get yourself out from behind the Vid Blaster trial Ooh. logo. <laughs> hey, there he is. Okay. <clears throat> there we go. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so uh, here's the real thing I wanted to talk about. I wanted to, to get a preliminary vote from you guys because I don't know how many of you know this. But 
there's a little bit of a contest going on over at the fine folks at revision3.com, the folks who produce the award-winning, man, I could say that now, the award-winning podcast, uh, hit podcast, there we go, uh, the award-winning hit podcast, Scam School, and what they're doing is they have a Photoshop contest. Are you familiar with this, Derek? Do you know what's going on? Yeah, I saw the, I saw some of them on the, on the, the boards. Well, we're going to go through them, and we're actually going to decide uh, who is the best here, and uh, we'll go ahead and we'll get your uh, commentary. Somebody's asking for music out there. I think that's a good idea. We'll just throw this on, see what, ooh. That was the opposite of what I wanted to do. And now we've got things ring. That's interesting. It's counting down. Here, we'll do this. We'll bring this up here. Uh, and I guess what I'll do is I will open up one of these. Train wreck. What did I promise you? Did I promise you a train wreck? And do you not get a train wreck, my friend? Here we go. You know, and I'd just like to add, I, I've seen some of these entries and... Uh, I, I'm a little bit concerned for your safety. I, boy, yeah. you and me both. So there, there, there's, if there's one <laughs> There's theme. quite a few creepy ones out there. There we go. Okay, we got a little bit of... Let's look at some pictures music. So we'll start off here. This is the original photo. That's not the original photo. That is me clicking on the totally wrong thing. I turned off the quad laser. Son of a bitch. Quad. Quad laser deactivated. There we go. Quad laser reactivated. There we go. This is the original photo right here, right? This is a uh, part of a photo shoot. How many of you guys in the chat rooms have had the displeasure of going to revision3.com and having it uh, be down? If it's down, then uh, then that means that they put a picture up that looks similar to this. It was from the same photo shoot, and it says, uh, "Oh no's we're down. Must be a scam, right?" Right. Okay. So now moving right along. So the Photoshop contest was let's start photoshopping Brian. And uh, and I guess the winner was supposed to get some, some uh, I guess, well, magic. I just got, how did this tasty beverage end up in my hand? The winner was going to get uh, some stickers, but I upped it by saying they could have a Mr. Happy Pants, uh, a Mr. Happy Pants sticker or T-shirt. But this is the first entry right out of the gates. Is it, is it Zabalba? Shabalba? Sabulba? How do you pronounce XI, Derek? Do you know how that goes? She? Shibalba. Is that what do you yeah, say? I, 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 I think I that's right. I'm not well versed in uh, Asian language. But, All right, so uh, let's do this. This one right, right here. I like it very, very much. Mr. Happy Pants lording over Brian Brushwood in a lake of fire. It's good quality, too, I think. Very Dante esque. What, what do you give this on a scale of, uh, uh, I don't know, boner to vagina? <laughs> I. <laughs> Um, you, you know what? I'd have to give it one uh, one nice, tasty vagina. <laughs> wow! So 100%. That's, so, yeah, All right, that's yeah. pretty good. Yeah. What about you, Derek? That's a, that's, a, that's a badgie for me. All right, that's cool. Somebody does like it. You gave it a boner. Uh, okay, this, uh, the next one here <clears throat> is... And, and some of these are funnier than the others, but not so, not so high quality on the Photoshop skills. But I think, I think there's something to be said just for humor. Here we are. In uh, they took they took the picture and it's just just me I guess in in is what is this London in England and it says how did this even happen Mr Happy Pants <laughs> this is kind of I don't know uh, and then uh, I like this photo line because if I was trapped behind <laughs> oh my God had you not seen that one Derek <laughs> no that's scary. <laughs> Because what would you be looking at? I don't know, but I'm obviously not enjoying myself very much. <laughs> no more sweating with the oldies. <laughs> no more sweating with the oldies. No more sweating with the oldies. All right, uh, this one here, I don't get. I need somebody to explain to me the joke on this one. Is this a, is this a famous bear that has something to do with something that I'm not? Is this Star Wars kid? Pedo bear? Yeah. Everyone's a lame internet oh. meme. What is the pet? The pedo bear? Derek, do you know the pedo bear? I, I do not. All right, if you know what the pedo bear is, call in and explain it to us. 866 462 4424, because I need to have this explained to me. And I know I could Google it, but that's not very interesting television. Oh, that's what. Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to shut you down. You're <laughs> never mind. The never I, mind. The I, say I was on action here. You can Google then, it. I'm just okay, saying that if someone right. from the audience wants all to right. call in and explain, they can call in at 866 462 Apparently, I'm not doing very good entertainment here. 
<laughs> Somebody says, uh, I just thought Brian was getting eaten by a bunch of beavers, as opposed to Brian eating a bunch of oh, beavers. Oh. Hey, oh. Getting a little blue on this Monday night. <clears throat> So you are checking out Pedo Bear. I want to hold on. Let's let me get let me, let me get a little bit of what's going on. What's I going on, Mike? I don't even know. It just says it's Pedo Bear. Run for your poopers. <laughs> <laughs> and it's got Ch- it's got Chuck Norris right, kicking right. a Pedo Bear's hold on, ass. Hold on. Let me let me hear. It. Hey, this is Brian Brushwood. You're on the air. What's going on? What's up? This is Ryan from Wisconsin, hey, and uh, it, it's basically pedophile bear. Okay. But but what what does he do? I mean, his shtick is he oh. molests children. <laughs> is is yeah, that his wacky? Under he's, the clever guys like of a bear. Little babies and four chan kitties. It's disgusting. So <laughs> wait, wait. So like so like on four chan, they Photoshop him touching like eight year olds, and then pretty, like pretty much. Or maybe just even like someone just posts up a picture of their kid, and then someone puts the pedo bear there. It's like oh, you just defiled that. Well, what's funny is I wonder if they're not actually creating real child porn by doing that. I think. By, by, the, way, by the way, check out, check out. Is there a problem, Mike? What's going on? <laughs> this is just so disturbing. I, I can't. Well, actually, I mean, with the internet, I can believe somebody put this up. Does, but does I mean, watching this actually make it better? Hold on, Derek. Oh, we're gonna man. we're gonna bring somebody else in here for a second. Justin Robert Young, what is going on, my good man? What is wrong with you people? What What do you mean, what is wrong with us people? Isn't it like 6 o'clock where you are? You guys are talking about pedophiles? <laughs> well, look, we got we to gotta get our numbers up. What's, what do you mean, what's wrong? It's not a pedophile, it's Pedo Bear. Yeah, it's the what hilarious the pedophile. What are you talking about? Oh, oh it, my sweet Lord. This did, is, uh, you know, I just, I'm turning into a family-friendly live chat. No, thing, nothing oh, family-friendly about this. Spoiled. All right, hold on. Let me do this then. As long as you're on the line, Justin. Hey, Derek, um, uh, if it's okay, I hope we can still be buddies. I'm going to let you drop in, and, and I want to get Justin's opinion on a couple of these. Is that cool with you? Oh, it is? Thank you very much. Uh, okay, good. Let me switch that over, and hopefully we will have video of the... <clears throat> ah, here we go. Hold, Hold on, on, wait. It's oh wait. Hey, there you are. Wait a minute. You look like you're in a real studio. What's up with that? This is the uh, recording studio. What the hell? Since when? This all this time? Wait, I don't see the bed sheet uh, put up behind you. <laughs> no, that's the that's the video studio. This is the podcast studio. Dude, this looks way better than than the video <laughs> studio. <laughs> I'm serious, dude. The, the I know. video studio looks like it's 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 you draped a, a bed sheet over your bunk bed and uh, and and, and open up your Mac. I mean, don't tell yeah, me that's what. Well, that's that's uh, that's shockingly close to what it actually is. All this right. is uh, this is where we do all the eye tricks, podcasts, the Magic Week in Review, hey, uh, and uh, everything like that. Okay, uh, real quick, we we got to get back to this contest, but but I do yeah. want to know. Uh, 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 Daniel twittered out that that he did the Magic Week in Review podcast. Did you guys already shoot that? Is it going up live? What's the story here? It's on right now. Go to itricks.com. That is the Magic Week in Review, or you can find it on iTunes. But Danny Garcia, uh, a match made on this very live chat last week. Uh, we we got him on there. He was the second time on, and he's awesome. He is he is hilarious. That's awesome. Uh, somebody said uh, somebody said tell us about the Garcia review minus the molestation, and I don't know what that <laughs> means. Is that a reference to something? Uh, I don't know if we I don't know if we I don't know if we referenced molestation on the podcast or uh, or if Garcia was around. That- it was only a matter of time till molestation got mentioned. I assure you, sir. Yeah, I guess so. When you're rolling with the BB Live show, you That's know, right. it's really... <laughs> I want to point out, out, I want to point out that it took like maybe 15 minutes for us to drive this straight into the gutter. <laughs> and I don't know if you guys know this yet, but but I love doing this show. I'm having a blast, but I'm actually ashamed of it. <laughs> 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 because because I, I kid you not, if you go to my website, schwood.com, hold on, let me put up the... If you head on over to, uh, to schwood.com, uh, there is no way to click your way over to this dark corner of my of my secret public life. I want everybody to think I'm professional. Maybe you can watch me on Scam School. Like, oh, that gentleman sure does know some tricks. But I don't want him <laughs> seeing this at all. He's such a nice boy. <laughs> Why do you got to talk about the pee pee? All right. Well, because so- then, like you know, if it's the other way, it's like me where I tune in and it's just a couple guys in the late Texas afternoon drinking beer and talking about kids getting touched. <laughs> 
<laughs> By the way, somebody points out that's why you go to hobovag.com. Did you see the Hobovag episode? Were you oh, there for no. that, Justin? No, I wasn't. Oh, I wasn't there We're going to have to revisit that. We're going to have to find that footage and bring that back, which I can tell you're very excited about, Mike. I, I'm psyched. I, I couldn't be more excited, but here, let's get back to the, All the right, photo. Yeah, next so, entry in the Photoshop contest, and you haven't seen any of these. Is that is is, is that correct? No, we went through like the early entries the last time I was on, so I've seen a few of these. I may have even seen Pedo Bear uh, before. But, okay. But, by the I'm way, I'm, I was so the, glad because when you came on and you're like, what is wrong with you guys? I was convinced that what you were going to say is, what's wrong with you guys? Everybody knows Pedo Bear. <laughs> I thought that's what. <laughs> well, no, you, you didn't see Jimmy Fallon interviewing Pedo Bear last night? No, I missed, I missed that. How did I? So this one right here I thought was pretty clever because, uh, first of all, they inverted and it's tied to a rope. And then if you go down, it's the it's the Jaws uh it's the Jaws thing, but you got Mr. Happy Pants riding Jaws, which I thought that was pretty good. Oh, somebody points out it's Pedo Bear, not Pedo Bear. So well, well, oh. I don't know why. It's like the only time I've ever heard anybody say Pedo is is the British slang. There's actually a, a, an episode because, of a series called Brass Eye. You know, you ever get to see it's, it's hilarious. But they always say Pedo, so that's how I always pronounce it. Well, they're they're a little bit lousy with with the Pedo Bears over there in uh, in England, I guess. I guess so. I guess so. I, I, I don't want to get torn apart by the All right. Chapter. No, yeah, that's right. They're going to tear you to pieces. This one I thought was interesting because it was sort of, uh, I guess I guess this takes place in World War Two or something. <laughs> uh, this is, I, and I got I to gotta wonder uh, how people come up with this, right? Because they're sitting there and they're like, uh, I don't know if they just find a picture. They're like, hey, that's a picture. I'll stick them in that one. Or if somebody had like this magnum opus Photoshop where it's like, I want to tell the backstory of in World War II when Brian was tied to the t- train tracks and Mr. Happy <laughs> Pants laughed at him from above a decrepit building. I mean, what is now, going is, on? Is this World War II or the, 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 the Depression? It seems kind of like, like ghost town. Well, it, of, uh... I mean, it has me depressed if that counts. I don't know. <laughs> it's a... Uh, well, t- <laughs> I, I just want to say, just in general, of all these entries, like there should be no surprise that these turn so horrible and dark so quickly. Yeah, <laughs> dude. This, well, hold this... on. I, I mean, we haven't even we haven't even gotten to the tasty part. But you're you're <laughs> right. I mean, I guess I guess hooray in in that my brand is obviously you know correct. <laughs> but but like here we go. This is here here I am about to be uh, molested by by pedo supernatural. Uh, <laughs> Uh, which I didn't see. That. Did you? Did you actually watch that episode of Supernatural, Justin? No, I did not. I, I, I did not get to uh, get to watch it, uh, which really makes me the worst uh, magic but, industry. But I want to know blogger. what's the tie-in with the uh, what's the tie-in? Oh man, hold on. New BB Live Show mashup. I kind of got to click on this. And, oh click no, 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 no scramble the brains. Hold on. I apologize. No. If I'm about to. No. It's a piece of the hell am I listening to? I think it's the, it's the Pedo Bear anthem. This is what you hear while Pedo Bear... <laughs> is this the Pedo Bear? <laughs> Alright, how do I make it go away? Oh, oh man, well, I, I'm trying to turn it off. <laughs> I'm trying to turn it off, dude. I hate, I hate that it holds me hostage. I, I, all I can do is mute it, but then I have to mute Justin. At, oh, did I get rid of it? Alright, there we go. That's... I gotta figure out a way to play YouTube clips on the show uh, without <laughs> without having everything go all. Without everything coming to a screeching halt. Yeah. Well, I mean that happens on its own. Thank you very much. But uh, okay. <laughs> so uh, if anyone knows why that episode of Supernatural was called, uh, oh, oh hang on. it was it was magic focused. I do know that. Yeah. It was Hold about. On. Hang uh, on. We got somebody. We got somebody calling in who probably has an answer. Hey, this is Brian. You're on the air. Yeah. Who's this? I have a question. Okay. Go ahead. I'm uh, so I, I'm I'm browsing around the, the interweb and uh, doing some works, and I I roll in on a pedo bear conversation and the pedo bear <laughs> theme song. <laughs> Go on. What is this? Uh, oh, you have no idea what this is. Uh, well, we, we uh, fortunately uh, sodium pentothal, one of our one of our fabulous chat room uh, users, put together a little graphic that explains exactly what this show is. That. Oh my God. Right there. Which you know that now that we're talking about pedo bear, I'm a little bit uncomfortable <laughs> with that image now. <laughs> I'm no longer oh okay God. with that graphic. This is big. Brian. This is this is uh, this is Zach. By the way, I was I literally picked up your Twitter 
pressed in there, and it's the conversation about a, a pedo bear. <laughs> we waste no playing, time. That's see, that's what that's little what... little John with a girl with pink hair. Uh, I know that my life's insane, but what what is this? Well, and look, dude, we cut to the chase here, and it's and it's look. Uh, I love it's, it. It's, it's what? It's it. seven thirty. We've already got the the yeah, happy box yeah. of juices out, and we're talking about pedo bears. And if you don't mind, we're gonna go on the next one. You want to hang on the line and, and comment on this one because I thought this one oh, yeah, sure. was actually yeah, really yeah, sure. good. Let me let me get this up here. Um, it's, uh, if regular watchers of scam schools know that, uh, scam, I said scam schools. If you watch the scam schools, <laughs> you'll notice that I, I drink a, a pint of Guinness from time to time. And by from time to time, I mean every time. Great. <laughs> right. And, uh, oh, call back. but, uh, but what's clever is, and, and this was kind of twofold for me. Cause you notice here that it's got kind of a funny looking, a funny looking coaster and uh, it says, good things come to those who scam backwards so that, and unfortunately, it's really dim. I don't know, I don't know if you can read it on the, uh, on the Ustream. Oh, that's Let me cool. Try to, so the reflection there says, good things come to those who scam. And it occurs to me that it would be brilliantly clever if somebody, oh, by the way, somebody in the chat room just pointed out that we made yeah. the front page, which is, this oh, is, well. oh, no, we were on in the, here, well, hit refresh. We'll I cannot see. believe this, Brian. I hope. What, 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 what Zach? I hope I hope someone like uh like a like a TV producer from Nappy is on Ustream right now and seeing oh, talking about yeah, so this. Yes, they kicked me off my panel. Thanks, douche. All right, yeah. so <laughs> the point is, uh, oh, like, yeah, there at is. first I thought, how freaking clever that this guy came up with the idea of the backward reflecting coaster, and I was like, wait a minute, wait a minute, there's no way. And I look a little bit closer, and you can see apparently that I guess um, Guinness already has coasters that do that. You can see there's a little bit of a color difference. Between, but it was still clever for him to change the the saying there, because you can see also the fonts a little different from there right there. But I thought that was a pretty clever coaster. Oh, no, that's very Guinness clever. Style. That's great. I don't hey. think we should we should break the guy's balls too hard for you know adapting it. Well, no, 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 no. It's not, I'm not. I'm not. I'm not breaking balls. I'm just. I I got sad because at first I thought that some fan had come up with this brilliant idea, and then I realized that he modified an existing idea. Uh, which which uh, what was was not the case. You uh, also just described the internet, like. <laughs> hey, uh, Justin, can you turn your video? Oh, you know what? I think yeah. Oh, there we go. I popped you out. There we go. So we'll do that. This one I liked very very much. I thought this one was a, a good adaptation. It was on theme and uh, and worked very well. Uh, this this one I liked so much because uh, I mean outside of the obvious reason, but. See what she's saying? Wait. There oh we go. God. You gotta yeah, zoom in yeah. a little farther. I can't. Okay, here we go. <laughs> which, uh, which, if any of you guys have seen the episode where uh, we got to the Ch Chad's gap from the bottom of Alta with the broken feet, uh, hey, I noticed Dodd Vickers is calling in on Skype. Uh, Dodd, can I get you to call in on Uvu? Can you get? Uh, can you do the Uvu call? I don't know if that works. Otherwise, you can call in on the toll free. Hey, Zach, I'm gonna drop you off there if that's okay to free up this line. Yeah. yeah, yeah. All right. All right. There we go. Oh, oh, there we go. You know, as good as this one is, and don't get me wrong, I am I am a friend to boobies on the internet. I, I think this is this is great, but I I don't know technically and and uh, you know originality wise, I think it's kind of it's kind of definitely like third class compared to some of the other stuff that we've seen. You think? Oh, hang on. We got uh, we got somebody sending a file over. <clears throat> uh, all right. Let me see if we can make that work. Um, by the way, uh, I'm no dummy. Now that we're on the front page of, <laughs> of Ustream, <laughs> I'm going to leave this graphic on as long as it's possibly topically <laughs> relevant. <laughs> we're just going to keep talking about everything. In fact, if I was smart, this would be a radio show where this was our graphic that we left up yeah. all the time. <laughs> all right, we'll see. Um, let me, all right, this next one. Oh, it pains me to leave this one. Uh, oh, but we have this one. So, again, stuck on a theme. <clears throat> Who's more attractive? Than <laughs> Look at that bushy tail. I'm sorry. Uh, is it just uh, Denver P23? Look at that bushy tail. Oh, okay. I thought big. you were just oh, shouting oh. out inappropriate stuff. I was okay. like, this is a family oh. show. <laughs> was, oh, sorry, I didn't get it was that. It's a good thing well, the FBI. <laughs> I was like, wow. Yeah, this is a family <laughs> show. We're talking about pedo bear and you know, <laughs> yeah, and rating things on a scale from penis to yeah, vagina. Yeah, exactly. Wait, 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 yeah, deal, it's right? a family show. <laughs> Quit bringing us down. Okay. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. So let's uh, uh, and again, <clears throat> allow me to be the first to welcome all you first-time viewers to the fabulous <laughs> BB Live Show, where stuff like this is all that you'll see. 
All right, this one I thought was a pretty good execution of the same idea. And there's something about being in bondage that makes everybody want to put attractive women. Yeah, I also like the fact that the girl, the girl behind, is a little, a little heavier. That like this is this looks like a serious dungeon. This they're not screwing around here. <laughs> uh, when you say serious, you mean like realistic? Because in real yeah. life, it's very rare that you see in a dungeon somebody with this kind of physique. They're almost always That's... the one that the guys. <laughs> I don't know if she just looks a little bit thicker because they have me covering her up, or, or maybe they have me covering up because she is thicker. I don't know. Yeah, I don't. Uh, that's that's I think what I would be looking for. If, if any kind of unofficial judge of this contest, I'm looking for realism above anything else. And, Somebody. Uh, all right, so let's go on to uh, to this next one here. This next one is another in the same the same. I think all of these were actually from the same person, which is a little bit disturbing here. But it wow. says. Uh, it says Brian Brush was the whipping boy, which I don't know. Is that a famous movie or something? God may. What about you? Do you know anything, Mike? No, not that I know of. Doesn't Ava, sound Ava Gardner. They're saying Ava Gardner in the, uh, the chat room says. Wow. Yeah, I don't know what the story is. Admin totally hates Christian Hetty's fat fat. Right. Okay. <laughs> Good. <laughs> uh, and then uh, what's great is that uh, the the thing I like most about this one is that down at the bottom it says a Mr. Happy Pants production, which I thought was kind of clever. Uh, but again, getting off the bondage trip, this is one of my, it's one of the worst photoshops. I mean, no offense, no offense. It does not look terribly realistic, but it's one of my favorite uh, thematically because this is an early Brian Brushwood family portrait, which, which you can see it's, and I wonder who's mommy and who's daddy, but there's, there's baby Brian and you have Mr. Happy Pants and Pinhead and Guile there all in a row. I thought that one was, was really good. Yeah. If I, if I were to guess, I'm going to, and this might shock people, but I'm going to say that Guile's a power bottom. It <laughs> has been this dance. God damn it. This show started off so clean. I'm like, hey, this is an early show. I mean, you know, we'll just we'll keep it light, right? What, what, could, what could go wrong here? <laughs> And then Mike shows up with a with a with a with a twelve pack of juice boxes, and it all goes downhill. All right, uh, this one here I liked a lot, and we actually have the uh, the boom. author of this one in the chat room right now. This is none other than uh, Patrick Delahanty, uh, the host of uh, the Chibi Podcast, uh, Chibi Project Podcast. And what I like about it, first of all, I mean, who doesn't want to get their neck slit by by Jack Bauer? But what I love is like I. It really looks like I'm reacting to to him, like, and then he even put in the highlight because he knows Jack Bauer has these highlights on his face, and then Brian has the highlights right there. I thought that was pretty good, and it didn't go with the obvious. I mean, it, obviously I was in bondage, but it uh, it tied in nicely. What did you think? Yeah, I think it's it's great because it looks like you're reacting to uh, Jack specifically, like like the way you're recoiling. Is like uh, you know uh, in in line with the photo, so I give it high marks. High, All right, what about mark. what about you, Mike? I yeah, I, I um I'm right along the same lines with you guys. That it they they took uh you, the image of you in the chair and actually put it in a spot you know that kind of makes sense and everything. Whereas, no offense, but some of the other ones kind of just look like you tied up constipated on an office chair. Well, I mean, <laughs> in my defense, I was tied up and I was constipated. So oh, uh, okay, <laughs> let's well. be. Let's make no bones. Well, well then about I, that. I guess we have a problem with yeah. the subject then. Well, they did nothing with that gorgeous ball of clay. I think is what he's saying. I beg your pardon. All right, uh, joining us, we got Dodd Vickers on the line. Dodd, are you there, man? He's he's. Uh, it's probably taking a little bit to. Dodd, as soon as you could say something, uh, make some noise. I'm going to push this on over here for a moment. Some noise. Okay. So uh, meanwhile, we'll go on to the next one over here. Uh, this one, another favorite, also from. Have you seen? I don't think Mike's seen this one. No, I, I, I saw that one. Oh, you then. did see this one. Yeah. Uh, greetings from Chad's Gap, <laughs> which is another callback. And what I like is that, uh, just like uh, just like the uh, the twenty four one, it, you had a context that made sense. In this case, now it looks like I'm cold. It doesn't look yeah. like I'm like right. I'm, you, you right. kind of read in whatever you want on that. But now I'm uh, I'm I'm chilly. Or you're chilly I'm, and excited. I'm, like I'm Chilean. Oh, I'm cold but and, excited. And I'll, I'll tell you what, the other thing that like adds like the layer of difficulty in this one is he's gotta do like a parody of a postcard. So yes. like yeah. that's another level to work for. I like yeah, I like I like where you're edges, with this. that's yeah, that that is nice. Alright, so let me uh let me go on to the next one here and see what we got. This one I didn't get. I need to have it explained to me. Um I guess, I guess, hold on, let me get this story. you guys Oh, this is a, uh, uh, this is a Batman I, right. reference, right? And there's a, 
Okay, I think I get it now. Because I believe Bruce Wayne was tied up and uh, or jo- or was that no? It's Har- Harvey Dent and uh, and the chick uh, Maggie Gyllenhaal were, were tied up. Oh, so I'm okay. Maggie Gyllenhaal. Okay. That's what That's it is. What it was. Okay, because he says he says Harvey Dent says, "Why are you here?" And and then uh, and then I don't answer. See, I I couldn't tell if he's asking me why I'm here or why is yeah. the Joker here. That's no. what makes me up. No, here's here's what it is. Yeah, because he was tied up, and then Maggie Gyllenhaal was in another thing. So theoretically, in this, and, and Kirk, I don't think I'm wrong, uh, Maggie Gyllenhaal's not in here. He, he just put Harvey Dent in the same warehouse that he was already keeping Brian Brushwood. Right. And so he's asking why he got, you know, in oh, there. Oh, why is Brian here? Okay, okay. Is, but he's not yeah. looking at me. He's looking uh, at me because that's what the screen. Okay. Okay. Kirk. Yeah. No, it's very weird that the Joker's there. No, no, no. Well, I like the Joker being there and, 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 and Happy Pants, and he's telling a backstory that I stole an idea from the Joker. That's cool. The only hiccup is that since Harvey's facing towards the Joker, he asks yeah. the Joker a question, and then I respond. So that was, that was a little bit of a bummer that it turned out that way. But it was a yeah. clever idea. I would say this is like if you just, if you just did like a line, like a comic panel in between. So it right. was like two things. It would be like a 50% better. Okay. Uh, better All right. Now it is time for me to let you in to my nightmare. Uh, <laughs> this one scares the ever-loving shit out of me. Uh, let me hold on. First of all, let me get Dot on the line because I want to hear his response to this. Dot, I'm gonna go. Uh, it's it's connecting here with Dot. By the way, for uh, for Christmas, uh, Christmas in February, I'm gonna I'm gonna buy a much faster computer so that we don't lag out. Because you see, we got the the chunkies going on right here. There we go. Is that Dot? Can we hear you now? Are you there, buddy? Testing one, two. Lot Dotty, where are you? Dot Vickers, magicnewswire.com. All right, I'm going to leave that up while we talk about it. We'll see what happens. Okay. Uh, I, I like to imagine that this Photoshop is uh, what happened uh, prior to you surviving the revision three cancellation. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this is how this is how I survived and scam school remains while greater shows were cut. <laughs> but look what he did. He goes and he changes. The whole thing looks like a painting. This was crafted with terrifying loving care i mean it's you can see it like on every single one of these uh wires that it's uh the the lighting and shadow is correct and and what i hate i gotta tell you i'm gonna have nightmares about this dude right here the bug-eyed bug-eyed shower shower face right yeah he's gonna sneeze and blow that oh, crap all I, over i me. didn't even notice that guy <laughs> you didn't even <laughs> notice that guy he snuck up from behind you he did he's gonna wow no he's i'll tell you what there are some home runs in this contest. Don't get me wrong. This one's over the green monster and hits a child who is just walking down the street. This is so far <laughs> away over anything else. It's not even funny. Well, yeah, and, and somebody uh, pointed out in the chat room, uh, beautiful technical work, and I think we could agree with that, and uh, certainly took the obvious theme and ran with it. Like, there are some some movies where they just run with, like, like Pixar's Cars was pretty much Doc Hollywood. But they just yeah. executed it flawlessly. This is this is Pixar's cars of, of bondage. It's like what's the most <laughs> obvious thing you could do is Brian's being tortured. And they executed it flawlessly. I'm just I'm just my you know, how long have we been looking for the cars of bondage? And <laughs> yeah, finally no. found it. <laughs> it's true. No wonder why you we're in the front that quote right street. there on the Live the Dream! America and abroad, we found it! <laughs> All right, we gotta move on because this one's giving me a freaking nightmare. Uh, this one I thought was uh, was pretty cute. So you you know what? Real quick, the uh, the forums just informed informed us that uh, it was actually a woman that did that. Oh, that changes everything. <laughs> so I- <laughs> Much hotter. I give it one boner. <laughs> yeah, hold on, wait, wait, wait. You don't give it a uh, on a scale of um... no, no, no. I'm saying personally, it's actually exciting. This is on the Justin about... scale. <laughs> Wait a yeah. minute. So let I'm me get this straight. Friend. You're looking at this and you're saying it gives you a boner. Listen, I don't ask where they come from. I'm just letting you know that they're here. All right, hold on. We got something that got sent in. <laughs> hold on just a second. This one's for you, Justin. Hold on. I got to hide it for a second. Here we go. This is my favorite Photoshop of all. And uh, long-time viewers will know exactly why, and Justin will know exactly why. 
There it is, Justin. Is that your? Is that your? <laughs> Look at that horse. Is that a horse? I'm on, I'm on the. Yes! <laughs> yes! <laughs> Look at that horse. Listen, all right, here. I actually thought this. All right, this show is affecting. I'm just gonna say that because I was up for long hours over the last time since I've been on here thinking about this poor schmuck on. Because <laughs> like, all right, these guys. How many hours has this guy been hawking? you know, trinkets to obsessive compulsives at all hours of the night, getting methed up. He screws up and eats his own balls once, <laughs> one time, and we are fucking him forever on the internet. This I was... poor asshole. Now, while we're doing that, let me show you something really impressive. <laughs> that picture, remember the picture of the horse I showed you earlier? Well, here it is, blown up. This is a big horse. Order now. You get the camera. You get the printer. 4x optical zoom. Schneider lens. Schneider lens. I Photo lens. printer. SD card. Look at that horse. Four. <laughs> the bushy tail. The big teeth. The hooves. Okay, my producer Tara Cates just told me this isn't a horse. It's a butterfly. It's a Brian. <laughs> it may in <laughs> fact be a wood. It may in fact be a moth. <laughs> <laughs> Look at what the zoom did. I mean, you can see details in the antenna. Okay, now if you, I don't know how many of you guys remember, but I started playing that thing with the pitch that um, that this will not be so funny the first time. But every time we look at it, it'll get funnier and funnier. And and I definitely think it <laughs> it may in fact be a shwood. Uh I think it <laughs> definitely uh, happened in that effect. Oh, you know what? I think I just gimped. Uh, uh, I can go to quad laser. Okay, I may have gimped vid, vid blaster, so we'll keep going while we still can here. Uh, okay, this one here, uh, puppet show action. Not a whole lot to say about it. Uh, and by the way, thank you very much, Dodd, for that. That was uh, very, very funny. Uh, uh, this one's good because it's got like a puppet show thing going on. You know, I'll tell you what. I think that no matter what, oh, wait, though, wait, like, hold that on. last one no, no, no. will be the last one we showed. This joke. There you go. It's plugged in because I'm covered in the wires. Oh, I didn't notice that. There's all right. electricity all around me. That's what's going on. Somebody says, look at that horse. That air balloon. <laughs> Schneider I'll lens. I'll click print and we'll print it out. <laughs> now, while we're doing that, let me show you something really impressive. <laughs> that picture, remember the picture of the horse I showed you earlier? Well, here it is, blown up. <laughs> this is a big horse. Order now. You get the camera. You get the printer. 4x optical zoom. Schneider lens. Photo printer. SD card. Look at that horse. Horse. The bushy tail. The big teeth. The hooves. Okay, my producer Tara Cates just told me this isn't a horse. It's a butterfly. <laughs> yeah, actually, it may in fact be a moth. But right. look at. All right, wait, here, wait, one thing, after seeing it, like, after you dissect it like the Zapruder film, yes. I'll bet you Tara Kate screwed that up, and he's trying to call her out, and that's his, uh, when he's like, Tara Kate just informed me it's a butterfly. That's his passive-aggressive way to put her on blast. I like that. That's not a bad idea, yeah. and if it was, uh, kudos for him. You know what, there's going to be, uh, I'm going to write my master's thesis on this, <laughs> exactly what <laughs> happened. Because if you look, there are multiple shadows moving around in the background, and I've got theories about those. As you can see in figure four. Oh, man. Uh, this one now begins the uh, the remainder of the, I think what happens after the first initial torture. Now we have a, a will it blend. Here we go, one of these. And it's me, and they added like a blur, like I'm spinning around. Not real comfortable with this blood around the top. <laughs> I thought you know, this I, was pretty this good, is, though. If, if you would have had, like, maybe your feet coming off, like, this is incredible. Like, that, oh, it's just, like, it's a severed limb away. If I they feel. actually had what looked oh. like pieces of it yeah. flying out caught in real time. Yeah, because it does. It just kind of looks like I'm, I'm on a tilt-a-whirl, and there's uh and there's kind of looks everywhere. fun. Like, maybe you put some strawberry jam in your pockets, and you're just <laughs> having a ball there. <laughs> you know, that may have been the backstory they were going for. <laughs> Uh, this one I thought was pretty good as well. Let me turn this off here. Uh, because, again, we talked about how it puts it in a new light. Uh, let me close this. There we go. It's a dramatic schwood instead of dramatic uh, squirrel. Uh, uh, uh. <laughs> You're not digging on that? 
No, no, I he mean, was giving the sound effects. Yeah, I was, yeah, right? I was giving the sound effects. Yeah. Yeah. Ba -da! The oh, dramatic yeah. uh, hamster thing. Okay, because I thought you were like trying to, you were kind of like, uh, like you didn't know. Uh. Oh, no. <laughs> Somebody, yeah. Somebody... You know, it's like, to me also, when you have to write what the joke is, I don't think that you're photoshopping well enough. But, but, but again, it's like, I don't want to go just on technical merit because, again, from the idea, like, what do they, what do they do? They took the picture and they put it in a new context again, just like when he made it cold yeah. with Chad's Gap. No, true, true. But the difference is, like, all right, like the the mother or the, the pinhead Guile one, where Guile was the sloppy party bottom, you didn't need to write... <laughs> Uh, on sorry, photo, you just, it says did you it. Just take the show to an all-time low <laughs> with Guile being the sloppy party bottom. Is that what I just heard? Well, I hear Guile really cashed in on the "don't ask, don't tell" policy. Yeah, oh, in the military, Captain <laughs> FG's got it right. <laughs> oh, that's hilarious. <laughs> all right. Uh, okay, God damn. See, that just screams it. All that right. big butch queen. All right, let's do this then. Let's jump on to the next one. I like the dramatic Schwid. This one is a little bit kind of disturbs me because uh, it, it just says, Mr. Happy Pants, because who doesn't love being a pillow for a hottie? And uh, I, I don't know who this girl is, and I don't know why she's laying on me. See, see the chick from the uh, the Navy detective show, the NCIS? Oh, that's, oh, that's oh what yeah. They're saying yeah, we got there. some yeah, uh, they're saying people in the chat. In the chat. Room, yeah, pretty, uh, pretty Perret. What, what's Polly Perret? What's going on? What's the story with this? Is there a backstory it's, I'm missing? I don't know. She solves mysteries that nobody else can, and she may or may not work for the Navy. And she That's may or may not cl uh, cuddle with Brian. Yeah, she is it. there. It's like a weird half sixty nine kind of thing. Going I'm, I'm on. sorry. <laughs> Why am I suddenly questioning bringing, bringing you into this chat? Okay, I'm just going to say, this started with, with molestation. Everything I'm talking about is sensual acts between willing adults. Oh, I'm sorry. So I see you're taking it up a notch. That sounds like yeah, the... Uh, that I'm sounds, causing this joint up. That sounds like the Nambla ad campaign. We're not murderers. Yeah. <laughs> we just love boys. All right, uh, this here is a chutty, uh, the the torture water escape thingy. Uh, I give it a I give it a, a decent rating on technical merit. Not bad. Um, no, that's good. Uh, and it's definitely in theme, you know. And and again, switching upside down, I think that's good, especially because the hair looks ridiculous. Uh, right side up or upside down. This one's like on sale. I'm not uh, they, <laughs> the person who posted it said that they kept it at full resolution because it just didn't stand. It didn't stand up to being smart. like it was so. It was important to this person that it be at full res. So it, so it took I, up like a giant page. Yeah. So I don't know John's if that, if that does anything for you, like there, like that. Well, you know what I'd like to point out on that one: you're cheaper than you are for the Schneider lens. Where on the Schneider lens you're three hundred seventy <laughs> something, but here you're a steal at one twenty nine. <laughs> That makes me like the Schneider lens one even more. Well, yeah, yeah, By the way, yeah, when Captain. Dodd when Dodd sent that over, it just had the title of horse, and I immediately <laughs> I immediately had my hopes up as to what it was. It was really <laughs> and, and, and of course they were dashed because there was no giant horse wiener. Uh, I like uh, this this button. And I'm the one. I'm the anchor on the show's morality. That's right. right. Horse wiener. <laughs> I like the, uh, I like the, <laughs> what I like is that it's not enough that they made me Sputnik. I guess something about Brian's head said Sputnik to somebody. I, that's what I, crazy. What I love was that they decided, they're like, let's make Brian really communist. <laughs> <laughs> let's throw a sickle and hammer on that guy. That's great. That's fantastic. Because you nice. do look like an early opponent for Ivan Drago. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, you look like a guy that he just destroyed in like three punches. Well, exactly. And the third punch sent my head into orbit. That's what that's saying. <laughs> this is the backstory, the prequel to Rocky. To Rocky but that was Ford. the only way you could serve the proletariat. That's was right. to put your head into orbit. <laughs> but it was a boon for the space race. I must break you. All right. Uh, I thought this one, again, technical merit I thought was pretty good because uh, you notice what they did. Hold on. Let me try to zoom in on this instead of moving out. Like I don't know, I don't know what was originally in the dog's mouth, but like the head sure does lump up nicely with that thing in there. That was face. Uh, yeah. Oh yeah, it looks like your face is right up in that dog's gum. <laughs> <laughs> you 
you sound like you're enjoying this a bit too much. And I like I like the half ass attempt at making it a lol cat as well. <laughs> Yeah, like, I don't like. I think here's the site that we need that the internet needs. It's just like a mileage meter on internet memes. Like I'm not saying LOL cats is done, but I'd like to see what the mileage is on it. And at what point does it become so ridiculous that we never speak of it again? Yeah. Uh, oh, you know what? I think I fixed it. I thought this was gimped, and now hey all, there we go. Look at that. Woo! We're able to move from one to the other. So now we can get over there. All right. So this next one here. Oh, brilliant technical merit on this one. I thought this one might be better than the torture one based on oh, technical wow. merit. You got something to say about that? Oh, that looks great. That actually, like, I'll put it next to the, the torture one. But, you know, I'll, I'll say if we're going tiebreakers, the torture one's got that creepy dude hanging out with, with the light in your face. That's the only thing I would put over it. But that looks awesome. Yeah, I'll have to put the two of those side by side. But what I mean, that one really looks like, like they they put on like uh, what do they call it? Is that HDV? What is that 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 photography with all the, the crazy highlights called? I don't know. That's way out of my pay grade. You guys know. know you guys in the in the chat room know what I'm talking about. Um, is it pictures? HDV? Just, yeah. <laughs> yeah, thank you. Pictures. <laughs> you know the moving pictures with the with the. That's about my technological speed. <laughs> That's like Bonnie's grandmother pulled Bonnie aside at the family at the family gathering, and she goes, "Now explain something to me, Bonnie. How is an email different from a telegram?" <laughs> <laughs> and Bonnie, and Bonnie was like, "Um, well, it's uh," and she was like, "Well, it's it's pretty much a telegram, Grandma." <laughs> It's just HDR <laughs> photography. That's what it is. Thank you, Chris. Thank you. Right. I'll tell you what. If you're putting together, though, a story, this comes right before the, the torture <gasps> one. We this should. Is, we should yeah, arrange all these. Like okay, a storyboard. Mega bonus points to whoever takes all these photos, or, or uh, some of the photos, right, and actually makes a comic book, what looks like a whole comic book story. That bastard is gonna get a, a Mr. Happy Pants T-shirt, and, t- and we'll, oh, we'll, come we'll on, tell the whole pony story. Pony up! You what? gotta, you gotta give him something more than just a shirt and a sticker. All and, right, now and, we're talking. Yeah. How about a Schneider lens? <laughs> <laughs> Do you have any idea how much, how valuable those are? I don't think we could possibly. Other than me, I'll click print and we'll print it out. <laughs> now while we're doing that, let me show you something really impressive. <laughs> that picture. Remember the picture of the horse I showed you earlier? Well, here it is, blown up. I got to correct it each time. This is a big horse. Order now. You get the camera. You get the printer. 4X optical zoom. Schneider lens. Schneider lens. Photo printer. SD card. Look at that horse. He loves those consonants. The bushy Schneider tail, lens. The teeth, the hooves. That's a nice bride. Okay, my producer, Tara Cates, just told me this isn't a horse, it's a butterfly. <laughs> I like that too. The image of yeah, actually, it may in fact be a moth. But <laughs> look at what the zoom. All right, hold on. We've got the author of this of this fabulous antenna. piece of work on the line with us right now, Mr. Todd Vickers. How you doing, Todd? Good, Brian. How are you? Are you calling to claim credit for this masterpiece? <laughs> hey, Justin. How are you doing, buddy? Todd, hey, how you doing, buddy? Good, good man. I couldn't resist. You know, I did that five minutes before you started. After you. Told well, me I tell you, you did enough. I mean, you were like, "Hey, what can Ustream resolve?" Uh, well, three pixels, the way Brian's uses it, and so you made those three pixels into art. It was beautiful. <laughs> this seems to be my shtick now. Whenever I'm on the show, it has you, to be something your with the mom. stick with the Schneider lens. Schneider lens. Oh man. <laughs> All right. Do you have a? Uh, did you have a? Did you have a favorite of the stuff you've seen on the uh, on the pictures so far, there, Dodd? What did you I think, think of this? I still like the bloody torture one. I have to say. Yeah, you like that better than the the Need for Speed. I like. I kind of. I'm, I'm dubbing these. I'm going to give these all names. Uh, I got to tell you, I really like the Need for Speed one. Yeah, somebody said that was your you on your wedding night. <laughs> you know what? It may have been. It may have been. We did have a Schneider lens, and that does look like it was taken with that photo. Right. Dude, Dot, Dot, do you agree with me with the silent, passive-aggressive fury that he says Tara Cates' name? <laughs> what? No, I couldn't hear you. Oh, no, this is his, this is, okay, this is like JFK. This is the, the crazy crackpot theory that Justin has, and he, he is telling it to anyone who will listen. Yeah, Here, all right, listen, so. Listen to the way he says Tara Cates. Hold on. Okay, so here's what he thinks. He thinks that Tara Cates, the producer, is the one who screwed up and brought out the moth instead of the, <laughs> instead the of the horse. horse horse right and he thinks that he's trying to 
Blame Tara on the air when he says this. Snyder Lens. Listen. Photo printer. <laughs> SD card. Look at that horse. All right, wait for it. Wait for it. The bushy tail, the big teeth. All right, I'm going to pause it right there. Okay, now, now, my get, now, right now, he's getting word, or maybe he glances over. Maybe And imagine this. I like this scenario. Imagine he glances over the monitor, and he's just like, good God, I am a total tard. And, and I'm on national TV. It's 4 in the morning, and I'm going to be an internet sensation. And then he's just like, how can I put the blame onto someone else? Yeah, because he's not going to be able to explain it to the audience you yeah. know, that's ever going to watch this. He's just got to do it for the people in the room. And he can't And Derek get- Bates is going to eat crap on uh, on this there's no way he's lying down yeah you can't say uh tara gates is a is a total dumbass right and so instead <laughs> he says this okay my producer tara gates just told me this isn't a horse it's a butterfly that bitch <laughs> <laughs> that total bitch i was gonna say another word but it's not 10 o'clock yet yeah actually it may in fact be a moth but <laughs> have zoomed it. i mean you can all right uh because he like obviously it, this guy is a pro this guy can handle anything. He's seen his share of potholes in his uh, in his career. Well, we need- so he flies by it, but that's his blame. We need to get that guy who chops his fingers off on on the. Did you, just, did you see that the guy starts swinging around the sword like he's the Highlander, and then he cuts himself no. on the team? Oh. <laughs> All right, we'll bust that one out next episode. That's a great one. All right, uh, we're on. The, we're in the I home like stretch. Theory, Justin. I think. I mean, that's the only reason to mention her name. That works. All right. That's it. I'm just saying, Tara's, Tara's going down. Tara okay. Kate's must die. Look, I need both of you guys to explain this one to me because I don't really get this one. <clears throat> it's me in some kind of gulag, and it says, So you thought you could scam us, did you? And uh, the, the text bubble appears to be coming from this window pane. I, I guess so the, <laughs> the, the shutters are very upset with me for having scammed them. And uh, you, you know what? I bet that's retribution from all the cinder blocks you've broken over your head. You the know concrete what? is getting back at you there now. There is a lot of concrete in this gulag. Yeah. What's what's your theory, Dodd? I just don't know what to make of that one, Brian. Um, I've got nothing for you on that all one. Right. I'm sorry. Justin? <laughs> Uh, yeah, I, all I can think of is that maybe it's the voice of God and this is some sort of tomb that you've been locked <laughs> into. <but laughs> all right, I'll take that one. That's, uh, that's all I got for Love you. Love this one. And, and the author of this one is, is actually right in the chat room right now. And I'm going to zoom in and show you why it's so hilarious. So on the one hand, it's, it's Schwedini and it's like, oh, Brian and Houdini, that's clever, right? Uh, but yeah. then you notice like. Like uh, he used the photo. That's that's the photo of me with the wires around. Okay. And these guys appear to be holding me in all the right places here. Oh, right. that's great! Right. <clears throat> and then it gets even better. Check out the shit in the background over here. Yeah, the four the four little photos. <laughs> there's, there's there's Brian <laughs> wrapped up in, and then there's there's <laughs> there's me peeking out of the milk can over here. <laughs> Oh, um, that's great! This one's my favorite because look, it's like you I'm gonna do- have to put this up there. I, I put this in a tie. I suspect on this one, he just took Houdini's picture and then just drew some stripes <laughs> on Houdini for that one. I saw that on the website. I love that one. Uh, and then this one, right? And then <laughs> this one looks like because what he did, he went and he, he grabbed some of the other publicity shots because these are all obviously from different from different shots. But uh, <laughs> but this one looks like I'm bent over trying to trying to pinch a loaf or something right there. I'm not real comfortable with that image. I think right you there. might be following in uh, in Guile's footsteps. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, working on the power bottom as I was going. <laughs> I thought this one. The more I looked at it, the more I liked it. I, and it had some genuine surprises in it. I thought, I thought was, oh, we got somebody calling in. Hold on just one second. Hold on. Mm-hmm. Bizarro, you're actually on the air right now. You're not watching this travesty, Woo! are you? I'm not watching what? You're not watching this travesty right now, are you? What, Master's Illusion? No. <laughs> Bizarro, it's just you're calling on the live chat. We're we're on. <laughs> That's brilliant. Uh, Bizarro, you're actually live. Go to a computer. Go to bbliveshow.com. Dude, I'm in the car right now. I- oh. All right. Um, that's uh, you. You you actually called in the middle of broadcasting. Actually, we're we're live on the air at the BB Live Show right now, and you came oh. off just now looking like right. a goddamn genius. Is what just happened. Zinger of the night. All right. Hey. What, what's going on? Did you have something you want to say? 
Uh, yeah, I was I was just calling to touch base with you about tomorrow. Why don't you get home when you're done? Yeah, all right. Uh, we're going to go see It's actually, I want to give a big thanks to Bizarro. He's the one who's actually going to get us in to go see Matt King's show. Uh, oh, and we lost Dodd. That's uh, Dodd, feel free to call back if you like. All right, Bizarro, take care, man. All right, bye. All right. Hey, by the way, uh, why am I stuck in magician hell? Bizarre's blog, if you're into magic, definitely. <laughs> yeah, why am I stuck in magicianhell.com for a candid inside look at the uh, semi underbelly <laughs> of, of magical entertainment? Yeah, uh, Bizarro rules in, in a lot of very important ways. In fact, if you haven't seen his vanity deck uh, parody, you he has got a vanity see deck? It. What's that one? Oh my god. Well, I mean, I don't know. This might be too inside magic for, for all the, the general viewers. Yeah. But if you have are, are privy to the, the trend of the Magic Buying's public's uh, obsession with vanity decks. Oh, are you talking about like the illusionist decks that are just, you know, they're, they're photoshopped up decks of cards? Yeah, to yeah. And I'm not saying they're bad, but like, you know, they right. are what they are. They're decks with silly things on the back. You right. know, they're, they're, they're pretty awesome. Now, but and like, when you say vanity, though, because I immediately thought like, because there are a lot of people who put their own contact information on the back or their own insignia. <clears throat> yeah, yeah, no, yeah. These are more like like the, the black tigers and the yeah, ghost hammer. Yeah, I got you. Is it, you know that kind of stuff. Yeah. So, uh, so yeah, he has a great thing. It's on. Why am I stuck in magician? No, but it's hilarious. All right, we'll check that out. All right, we got like I think that might be the last one. Oh, here we go. This is uh, me and fake David Blaine <laughs> right there. There we go. <clears throat> <laughs> and that's pretty much all there is to that. I think that's the last one. Oh wait, and of course from Dodd Vickers. Although I'm going to substitute this one. This is the toddler with the drum here, which I thought was pretty good. But it's it is nothing, nothing at all compared to this gem right there. That is, uh, that's some genius right there. <laughs> All right, so what do you guys say? Uh, Justin, you gonna give an award here? I mean, um, and, and keep in mind, this is non-binding and totally non-official. I think there's an official judge, and in fact, the contest is still open. If you wanna head over to the revision3.com forums, you can actually join in, revision3.com slash forum, and, uh, and you can put in, but, but, but if you're gonna give a vote, Name maybe your top your top three. Actually, it may in fact uh, be a Schwood. <laughs> Actually, my producer Tara Case is just informing me this uh, <laughs> this is a Schwood. Um, yeah, uh, I'm gonna say if if I'm gonna go top three, it's got to be Need for Speed. You know, uh, the the Schwood episode of Hostel, and uh, and and. and <laughs> the I like the that's, Schwood episode of Hostel. I think that's an accurate assessment. Uh, that that's what I'd say. I mean, and and really like, well, you know what? I'll tell you what. As as much as like Need for Speed to me is is that and Hostel are like the, they're like the same one. Obviously, they're different. But I would give the the edge to the Hostel one just for the creepy guy. I'm gonna say the Family Portrait because that's uh, you know immediately you know yeah you get a a, a fun little crash course into the Shwood universe. Yeah. In I, I like I like the the making of a backstory on that one. I thought was very very clever. Uh, and unfortunately, and and allow, and it's kind of unfair because the first whoever's first kind of gets hosed in in people's memories. Uh, but uh, let me see if I can get that one back. I mean, remember how I thought this I, was really yeah. good. You remember this one with the Lake of Fire and the Happy Pants? Look at that Happy Pants, the bushy the bushy brush, <laughs> the Lake of Fire. <laughs> Call right now. You get the Lake of Fire. You get the <laughs> Eternal Damnation. It sure does look warm. Schwood <laughs> lens. Schwood <laughs> lens. <clears throat> I'm sorry. My producer carrot taste just informed me this is not <laughs> the hell. It may it looks like England. It may in fact be London. <laughs> <laughs> it may in fact be the River Thames. <laughs> Somebody in the chat room just shouted, I fell into a linking ring of fire. <laughs> <laughs> All right, what about you, Captain G, Mr. Mike Galanti? What yes, do you sir. Got? What are your top threes? Oh, uh, top threes, let's see. Well, um, yeah, I'm a big fan of the uh, original family portrait. Uh, that's uh, That's got to be a goodie. Um I really like the first uh, Lake of Fire Happy Pants effect. So, uh, but uh, let's see. In the third one, I'm gonna have to go for the uh, you in a trunk because I, the need for speed. Yeah, yeah. When, I, when I saw that one, I was like, you know, I've actually thought about doing that while being out on the All road. Right, that's that's enough that. of that. That's <laughs> that's a problem with having the hired help co-hosting the show. You bastard. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I, I like those quite a bit. Um, I'm going to say top three. 
And I'm going to give a different answer than I'd give in the forums. In the forums, I think I'd have a different set of criteria. But for the BB Live show, I'm going to give uh, one of them to this guy because it's so on target. Um, certainly, uh, I've got to give the, the, the torture seat. God, there's so many good ones. <laughs> Hold on. Wait a minute. You know what we need to do? <laughs> Hold on just a second. Hold on. <clears throat> give me just a second. Um Oh, I have nothing. Uh, Justin, you have something you want to plug while I while I dig up some stuff here? Uh, I gotta... Yeah, yeah. Well, of course, Justin R. Young on Twitter. If everybody, uh, you know, I got a, I got a bunch of followers from from the last time. So if you guys like my stupid banter, then go ahead and sign up for Justin R. Young on Twitter. Other than that, and of course, itricks.com. We got all sorts of podcasts, and uh, now we just added uh, Facebook Connect. What, yes, what everybody. Is, what is Facebook clamor- Connect? Uh, yeah, uh, it's just a way that you can sign on uh, and comment with your Facebook status. That way you kind of have your comments and you can share stuff easier from iTrix. But if you're into magic, uh, iTrix.com is the place to be. And I noticed as soon as we mentioned something to plug, Dodd Vickers instantly on a speed dial called uh, 866-462-4424 <laughs> to chime in. What's going on, Dodd? Oh, we just got disconnected. Oh, okay, good. Are you voting for my picture there? All right. Well, I'm trying to find. I'm trying to find um, a, an appropriate uh, here. I guess I'll do this one. Um, we're gonna play a little music as we go on a trip down memory lane. As we think of all our favorite memories. Oh, wait, I hit the wrong button. There we go. That one scares me forever, forever. I'll wake up screaming, thinking of this face. <laughs> I'll always think of Ivan Drago knocking my head into orbit. <laughs> That's all I got. Hold on, wait. Can you go back to the hostile one real quick? <laughs> You're going to make me revisit that I moment. Oh, let me turn this down. Yeah, what do you got? Uh, Boy, by the way, this... Hold the- on, real quick. This has a totally different context with this song. Listen to this. All right, you were going to say, Justin? Dude, what is that in the foreground? Is that another leg? Is that... Uh, you know, I get... <clears throat> many ladies make that mistake, Justin. Oh, sweet <laughs> lord. Uh, are you talking about... Oh, I know, in the wait, bottom yeah. left-hand corner. No, yeah, somebody oh, yeah. else is there. Uh, is that a shoulder? No, they, that's, that's like another doctor. Yeah, look, looking at it that. looks like a shoulder because it looks like the head right above it, right? Yeah, you're right. That's perfect. Yeah. Dude, that has got... 25% creepier. Oh, <laughs> that, the idea that there's just somebody there kind of watching, kind of yeah, getting his this, own. Oh, this is the Hank Aaron of creepy. <laughs> <laughs> All right, you know what? I've got to give I got to give props to the thing that's gonna be in my nightmares forever. I got to give props to uh, the Schneider lens, and uh, you know what? The, the third one's gonna be a wild card. Anyone who felt slighted, that's who my third vote was for. Uh, you know, I had a bunch like of other the, stuff. The one too. Uh, oh, yeah, you know what? I will give it to the Schwedini. Schwedini was awesome. Uh, very, very good. Although, again, I, I kind of wish I could give another one to the Lake of Fire. Z- uh, Sepulba really knocked it with that one. Sepulba. Uh, Annie, fix the hyperdrive. <laughs> you know, and this one got much better once we invented a proper backstory for it. <laughs> <laughs> I think that should become my new logo for all my oh, for all my promo stuff. 
<laughs> all right, you know what? I actually had a bunch of other crap that I wanted to talk about. We'll save all that stuff for another day. This was a really good, a good episode. It sounds like a uh, real quick thumbs up, thumbs down. Do you guys want to see a Brushwood Raw from Las Vegas in the next couple of days? Uh- Oh, yeah, you know yeah. what? And the, the author of the Schwedini one offered to uh, uh, create a tie for, uh, for, uh, for CB. CB? CB? Right. Everyone right, says so thumbs up on a wrong tie for Tie for the, 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 the third? Yeah. Or? And keep in mind, the contest is still open until tomorrow around 5 o'clock. So if you want to swoop in and mess stuff up by appropriating everyone else's images and making a freaking comic book, which I'm telling you, dude, tell a full story with that. I think you'll That'd win this thing. And I don't know. I'm not the judge. I'm just actually, I'm just there along for the ride. Uh, but that's going to be it for me. I'm going to wrap this thing up. We are going to be in Vegas tomorrow for the next couple of days. <clears throat> and I think I am going to close with, you got a quite, you, uh, I don't know what is what, this one. Here, actually, here. Can I just say if the, if the if the comic book is really 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 awesome. I'll steal something from Andrew Maine's warehouse and, and add it to the prize pack. What? Oh, really? Yeah, I'll steal something because I have the keys. All right. <laughs> that's, that's pretty good, actually. All of a sudden, this contest got, I like pretty, your style, Justin. got pretty good. Uh, here's, I'm going to do a random one that I've never done before. We'll see if it's any good. Here we go. I don't know. It doesn't sound very good. Wait. What about Pedo Bear uh, Anthem there? Yeah, Pedo Bear Anthem. Anthem. Yeah, that's what we should do. Hold on. Only I'd have to go to YouTube to get it. Oh, no. I don't know, dude. I'm running out of... No, too techno. Sorry. There we go. Nope, that's a good... That's a better opener than a closer. (laughs) You know what? We will end with that. All right, guys. That's it for me. From magicnewswire.com, we have Dodd Vickers, who's calling in by phone on 866-462-4424. Thank you very much, Dodd. You got anything else you want to say before we wrap things up? Uh, yeah, we got a couple of good interviews coming up, but uh, I'll save them for next time. All right, dude. Yeah, check out Magic Newswire. Uh, you can't say who the interview's with yet, can you? Well, yeah, I can. Uh, we've got Mark Wilson coming up. Uh, Mike gave me several other ones that I won't announce yet. Awesome. All right. Justin R. Young from itricks.com. Uh, what do you guys got going on? By the way, I, I just wrote Rudy Kobe and I complimented him on his uh, performance on the magic uh, or whatever the interview, the podcast was you had. Yeah. Well, we got, uh, we, we are recording uh, coming up next couple weeks our new iTricks interview series, which is our YouTube thing of which uh, I, I can announce Brian Brushwood will be part of the new, uh, the new season of. So, uh, you know, recording those, including uh, Rudy Kobe and uh, a couple other really, really cool guys. You so, got other than that, just itricks.com, all the podcasts. Yeah. Find them on iTunes and Justin R. Young on Twitter. Again, Justin R. Young on Twitter. You got it. And as always, the inimitable Captain MG. Did you have Hooray. a good time? Was it worth hanging out? You're not staying in my spare bedroom anymore. You're actually, <laughs> no, you're I, actually coming out here just to, yeah, just to long, do this. It's now. a long, long 15-minute ride. Yeah. Well, uh, so, but, I hope it was uh, worth it for you. I, yeah, pretty much just for uh, the good laugh off the Pedal Bear website. Okay, you that's, know what? You're going to rush right just, home and load up Pedal Bear. I, I think I might. I think <laughs> I, I might. There's are. all sorts of bad stuff going on there, and it's just <laughs> hilarious. All right, guys. Until then, that's me. I'm Brian Brushwood. Nothing but a talk. Toddler banging a drum. You guys have been fantastic. Have a good day, guys. Nice heart out. You've been